it's all about selling the lifestyle. And our furniture is a lovely eclectic range. You'll have seen walking yeah, through the showroom. Yeah. We can do anything from a castle, which we did recently yeah, <laughs> in, uh, in Gordon, right down to, you know, a gorgeous beach, beach cottage. And we can create that ambience and that vibe that the buyer really, really wants. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Property Chat with Lockie and Matt. We're here at Coco Republic's uh, head office. Is it head office? It's one of our flagship stores. Okay. It's our Alexandria showroom. Beautiful. Yeah. So we're here with Jenny, who's the senior stylist for Coco Republic, and we're going to talk today about all things styling. So um, Jenny, for the guests who don't know, why don't you tell us a little bit about po uh, Coco Republic and yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, we're known as a beautiful uh, furniture brand initially, and people would be aware of us from a showroom point of view. Um, we're a very strong brand uh, presence in the luxury furnishing um, sector of the market. Yep. Um, but as a company, we pretty much can, uh, we, we pretty much have everyone's design needs covered at any level. So if somebody just wants to come in and buy a sofa, that's, that's obviously very doable if they want to come in and have a full house completely interior designed and furnished to a floor plan, we can do that. We can do finishes for them through our interior design division, which is another arm of the business. And of course, more relevant to the property styling division is our short-term property styling um, sector of the business. So that's where I'm based yeah. and we work very closely with agents, obviously preparing properties for yep. sale and, and styling them to present to market. Yep. And would you say the main area you cover is sort of around where we are, around around that sort of Sydney market? Yeah, look, yep. we, we do, we work mainly throughout Sydney, um, but we do travel as far as, you know, the Southern Highlands, Wollongong, Definitely up to the central coast. We style properties out of town very frequently. Yeah. Um, we're known as the more high-end part of the market, yeah. um, known to be able to style the really beautiful big properties and have a lovely consistent style throughout mm -hmm. because we're backed by this fabulous retail arm um, with a beautiful brand yep. um, and lots of furniture available. And so... That certainly we, helps. Yeah, yeah, it certainly helps and... and it, it also means that we're when we do run low on stock, unlike other companies, we can tap into our retail resources. So um, it's a great brand and we can get that beautiful, consistent um, flow through a huge property. But equally, we do style anything down to studio apartments. Yeah. It's just setting... It's a very particular style that transitions very nicely across a coastal property or a an inner city property mm. or a you know a country estate yeah. um and appeals to a very wide range of prospective buyers as yeah. well because that's what we get asked all the time mm. isn't it like mm. yeah. you know a lot of our vendors will say to us looking getting style you know i'm looking at styling a property but i'm not quite sure whether my home meets the brief and you know from our point of view we feel like it's an improvement to absolutely any property yes it comes down to making sure that we get a stylist who's going to maybe pick the right furniture for that that marketplace for that property and for maybe the demographic that we're targeting that's mm. right and i think a lot of styling companies uh make well it's not a mistake they're just not equipped to full fulfill a brief yeah. of a particular style of a home and it's something that we're very particular about here it's a different level of service that other companies a lot of other companies um are not able to offer mm. because of our product range we can provide all these different looks and feels that suit the architecture of a property the location where it is who the yeah. buyer is going to be and we're very particular about that because it's all about selling the lifestyle and our furniture is a lovely eclectic range you'll have seen yeah. walking through the yeah. showroom we can do anything from a castle which we did recently yeah, cool. <laughs> in uh, in Gordon right down to you know a gorgeous beach beach cottage and we can create that ambience and that vibe that the buyer really, really wants. You can almost see the sort of transition as you walk through the showroom. Yes. You've got these sort of richer Manhattan and London colours and then you sort of come towards the other end and it's lighter, it's brighter. Yes. So you can see that sort of diverse range yes. as you take a walk through. That's right. And 
when we were um, in the design school just just before, I saw a few things on the wall there about just the level of detail. Mm. Talking about the types of clients is that something which you think about when you're styling a property? Like who is going to be the likely person that we're trying to attract, and and, and what are they what are they after? What sort of trends attract them? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the target market is key to mm. what we're trying to appeal to so we work we like to work really closely with our agents and I mean we're very experienced at what we do we've all been doing this for many 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 years I've personally worked for Cocoa Republic for 10 years now and have styled doing other things prior to that but we're, we're a very experienced team but we love to work in tandem with the agent and be very strong on who our target market is we don't want to discount anybody but um you know somebody looking for that coastal escape we want to give them that lovely all the beautiful linens and the cane textural surfaces and the corals and the um you know that that sort of a coastal feel that they can imagine themselves living in so Mm. we're very particular about the style of a property we don't just pop in a package of furniture and yep there's a table there's a chair it's very well thought through it's basically a bespoke scheme that Mm. will evoke that emotional response in your buyer when they walk through that door it's interesting you talk about mm. the emotional response i think that's uh, as an agent, it's key that when we're thinking about styling properties is we want a buyer to be able to walk in and feel as if they can just sit down, begin living in the space. Mm. So I, if it invokes that sort of response, it's more likely to to get them to have that um, that feeling, that connection with the home. That's right. Mm. And and it's an emotive thing buying a home, isn't mm. it? And that's that's the absolute key that we're trying to achieve. And, and we all get such a kick out of every single job we do. We yeah. walk out going wow, that's transformed that place and we feel very confident it's going to go really well and present beautifully, but also creating beautiful marketing for you as an agent. Um, That's that's so important because the first touch point, of course, is the photography that comes up online. And Mm -hmm. I know myself when I'm even looking at properties, I, I can see through furniture etc because that's what I do for a living but but for every man and his dog out there or the every average Joe Blow they're so attracted to that beautiful image and instantly click on and um and are drawn into that property and definitely let's add that to the short list and go and see that one so it's a very important part of the job creating that shot for for the agents and from our end it, it gives us confidence you know as a, as a selling agent being able to say to your vendor that you've done absolutely everything to present the home and that it is over to us to go and now get you the best price but you've, right. you've left us in really good stead to do so yes and mm. i think you know one of the things that we see is a vendor will always ask us look if i'm going to make the investment to styling and it may be six ten fifteen twenty thousand depending on the property if they're going to make that investment like everyone they want to know what that return is on investment yep. and it's really difficult to put mm. a dollar value on mm. what that return is yes you know it's such a case by case you know there's some properties we've gone out and appraised at a level and it's sold well above and and you do put a lot of that down to getting all of the details that's perfectly right. presented ready to go mm. for that campaign yes and i think something that you know we see a lot of as well is in the back end of say realestate.com and domain where we we track all of the analytics the style properties get really really big reach they get mm. a lot more link clicks they get a lot more previews Definitely. the photos end up a little bit more expansive in terms of research they go through every single one rather mm. than clicking on it and mm. clicking out mm. yeah well i hear it from an, an auctioneer standpoint when i'm calling agents uh, the week prior to the auction you're sort of asking them how how things are going there's a very common trend when there's a property that's positioned and it's going to be a, a very very strong auction Nine times out of ten, they'll say something along the lines of, look, we had great vendors, they listened to everything we said, they styled the property, it looks fantastic. As a result, we had this many people through. That's always in there. Yeah, definitely. It's never do you hear, oh, the vendors didn't really present the property that well, but, um, you know, we've got a yeah. screaming auction about yeah. to happen on the weekend. Yeah. So it's um, it's something which is so important to that end result. And I guess we've seen it become more and more I guess mainstream over the past 10 years, more and more people are doing it. It was something which was only for those high-end properties initially. Mm, mm. How have you seen that change over the, I guess, the past decade and and the, I guess, the the public's reaction to it? Yeah. I I think it's um, closely linked to so many uh, things um, design-based on TV as well. I Mm. think everyone's a lot more design-savvy 
shows like The Block and mm. all the lifestyle channels with all the fabulous yeah. shows, they're very aspirational from a design point of view and a living point of view for people and so they're a lot more exposed to it and I think people are much more savvy in general regarding real estate as well it's become the big thing I mean it's always been a big thing it's but a it's, culture, it's isn't a it? culture mm. now and mm. and people are very savvy on the whole and they know that if their property isn't up to scratch they're not going to be in the mix I mean I had an agent once say to me um you know you you're only fresh once Mm. Um, and yeah. and I thought that was a really good thing to say because I, I think I always get very upset when clients go, well, look, we're just going to give it a try with our own furniture and see how we go. Um, inevitably, really frequently, those people come back and say, yeah, well, we didn't get any traction. So so we really, really now we're going to go to a full campaign. But well, it's almost the equivalent of yeah. going to a, a cocktail event yes. in, a, in a really, really old suit or something like yes. that, popping off to the bathroom <laughs> halfway yeah, yes, through and, and coming back and getting changed. People are going That's to right. still know. It was yeah. The yeah. Yeah. It's the same That's guy, right. just with a better That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I think you, as you said, Matthew, you want to get in there and be on the market presented to the very best possible level you possibly can be with mm. everything you yeah. want the the painting to be fresh throughout the property you want the carpets if they're tired replace yeah. them they're two of the biggest tips for people it reflects an agent though as well is yeah. it, that's what i've always sort of felt myself is mm. that you know i care a lot about my presentation how i look in in yes. all different facets mm. of my life whether that be how my car looks how yeah. i look how yeah. my office space is mm. whatever yep. so for me my properties that i market it's the same thing i want to make sure i'm doing the best job for the client and you know you do get defensive when you go out there and a buyer says geez it's tired and you go well you know we've done all of this to get it ready and yes. it's amazing mm. and yes you can really be confident when you've got the right product behind you when it is presented how you think it should be. I think for a lot of agents and, you know, again, this is the idea behind this is to give sellers some insight about styling and why we think it's so important. It's not just for the for our gain, it's for yeah, their benefit. Absolutely. For the agents who maybe struggle to communicate this to a vendor, for a vendor who maybe feels that it can be a bit insulting to say, well, it's not that we don't like your taste, it's that we think that mm. this is probably a little bit more mainstream as, as Lockie touched on before yes, yeah. and going to appeal to more buyers. That's right. What would you say to, to maybe an agent or to a vendor who, who might be sort of on the fence thinking, hesitant. well, yeah. yeah. Look, I, I do say to them right from the outset this is not personal your house is lovely you know you, this yeah. is how you live how you live and how you sell a home are two very different things you might you might want that giant sofa in the living room because you want everyone to be able to sit there and watch the movie together or whatever it might be but it might just be totally overwhelming the space yeah. and while it works for you from a living point of view it doesn't work from a start a mm. presentation point of view yeah. when when you're selling so um you know the red feature wall <laughs> that was the, or whatever, whatever <laughs> that might be, any any really personal statements yeah. that yeah. Um, are not going to appeal to the widest possible target market yeah. need to be looked at because yeah. you don't want to alienate anybody, but at the same time you don't want the property to be dull and boring. Which kind of generalising rather than specialising. That's right. Yeah. We, we yeah. need to appeal to the, the most people. So colour can be very polarizing for people so that's yeah. an obvious one um, making sure spaces are working in a home um, like I've just mentioned you know the making sure the scale of furniture is right in a room and the functionality of each room is right so for instance don't have a five bedroom home with one tiny living area perhaps mm. you know perhaps we should consider styling one of those other bedrooms as another living area yeah. so that you've got the right proportion of living to bedrooms and this is when the relationship and the discussion with the agent and the owner of course um, is really important as yeah. to how are we presenting this I mean home offices at the moment are huge mm. because of the whole um, COVID um, you know working situation now so many people working from home so whereas in the past we've said no let's not style this as an office let's style it as a third bedroom yeah that's now been so it's, important. Oh, now it's the yeah. absolute opposite. Let's where can we fit in a home office yeah, in this property? Yeah. I think back in the past um, <laughs> it was let's put a bunk bed in this room. Yeah. Let's put a double bed <laughs> yeah. in this room. That's yeah. right. That's, yeah, right. that's right. But it's getting the balance and the flow and the livability of the property right. Yeah. And and that's the technical side of it. Yeah. And then it's putting together a beautiful scheme that flows front to back of the property that works 
perfectly, as I said, for the architecture and the yeah. and the main target market we're working towards. But for people that are a bit reluctant, I, I do trot out that saying, you know, you're only fresh once. Do mm. you really want to risk getting mm. it wrong? Yeah. Um, because everything hinges on it. If you're, it's, it's all about time on market as well, you mm. know. It's proven that properties that are styled spend less time on market. Mm. All of this costs people money and probably ultimately the end result that they, they get. The longer you're on market, the more tired the property becomes. And but it's interesting though because mm. after, mm. after say, 60 days on the market, if you could offer a vendor that magic pill for $20,000 that would get your home sold and get you on your way, yeah. there wouldn't be many that wouldn't take it. And we see it all the time mm. where, you know, they haven't got the result within the first sort of 30 or yeah. 45 days relevant to your market. But yes. they start then thinking, oh, gosh, you know, maybe we should have done things a little bit differently and they yeah. probably would have invested the money had they felt the way well, they, they ask do. you the question yeah. all too often yeah, yeah and say what else can we do there's got to be something else we can do and it's yeah it's almost uh, again back to what you said you mm. said well i wish we could rewind the clock yes because there was something we could have done that's now right we really can't now it's, yeah now it's dropping the price yeah. to, to actually make sure that all of the issues that we that we are facing so if it's presentation problems that we're mm. facing or if it's mm. maybe proportion problems that could have been addressed by putting the right furniture in yes the only way to face that now is by getting the price aligned so yes. that they no longer become problems. That's right. Unless you're prepared to take it off and reinvest. That's right. And and I think I think um, vendors need to really think about factoring into their marketing plan the styling costs because mm. it's such an, a critical part of the marketing of the mm. property. It's um, not where you want to skimp. Uh, yeah. It's everything. It's yeah. what the people are. People literally come in and buy almost the furniture. Obviously, there are properties that are magnificent architecturally and amazing, yeah. beautiful homes. But at the end of the day, if they're furnished terribly and, the, you know, they're it's a bit tired, it's a bit dated, it's a bit wrong. It changes um, the energy straight away. It changes away. the energy straight away, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, that would be my my main thing with people. We recently had um, an example where we had this beautiful home, a really high-end property on the Upper North Shore, and the client um, decided to go with the cheapest styling quote against all advice, and that's very interesting what you say about listen to your agent, listen to the stylist. We all want you to get the best result. Mm. We genu The good companies, that's what we're about. We're not here to rip you off. We're here to enhance what you're mm. going to get. That's how we're in business. We're yeah. trusted. And that's how you get listen to business. Yes, that's yeah. why you don't go to a doctor and tell him how to treat you. Yeah. Uh, same with property styling. You know, you come to us because we're the experts at that and we can tell you how to best pe present your property. Yeah. mightn't be to your taste. It doesn't have to be to your taste. Yeah as long as it's too going That's to appeal to the thing. market. That's it's a, a very thing. big thing. Yeah. And I think it's a mistake a lot of people make. Um, they think it's for them. Yeah. And often they're finishing off the home that they never got to finish off. Yeah. But I always say to people, even at the quoting stage, show me through your home, great, looks fantastic. Right, now let me go through and I'll tell you what my recommendations are. You stay here because I don't, you know, I'll, I'll go through, I'll think through each space, I'll think through it overall and then I'll come back at the end and present them with, you know, the, over, the overarching, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. you know, um, details but not getting down, you know, when yeah. people say, well, what are you going to put here? What colours are you going to put? What sofa are you going to put? It's, it, it's creating an overall look and feel that we can discuss with them rather than get down to tin tacks and yeah. specifics um, and we do ask they trust but sorry back to that example of that property so he did decide to go with the cheap quote against all advice and it was just so wrong for the the home mm. the furniture was all out of scale it was the wrong quality of furniture it would have been fine for a two-bedroom apartment, but it wasn't fine for this magnificent. My thought home. straight away would be understyled, like not enough. Totally understyled. Yeah. To, not to enough. start a styling company, I can't imagine oh, the budget you would need. The and you can see the ones yes. who don't have the inventory. That's yeah. right. I mean, yeah. into this home, we probably put about two hundred thousand dollars worth of furniture. Ultimately, yeah. so it's it, you know it's a lot of furniture yeah, and good quality, beautiful pieces that enhance the home. Yeah. So he quickly realised three weeks in that he'd made a massive mistake. The marketing looked terrible. No one was coming. No one was getting it. He he hated it himself, which, mm. again, I know that's not the key to the There's thing. There's no confidence. But, the, yeah, that. the agent was, yeah. was very disappointed. It all got pulled out. We came in. We did our thing. Re had to redo all the marketing. 
and they're now three weeks down the track into the campaign. And, you know, so and here's a good example of, and once we had put the styling in, the property sold very mm. quickly. It was the right the right thing for the home yeah. and um, he realised he'd made a mistake. But it's a good it's example, expensive. you know, and, and we've got a lot of ways to help people with affording the styling. We mm. have um, something similar to Afterpay. It's zip money where you can, yeah. um, you know, you can pay for, the, pay for the styling with zip money, which is a small payment up front and then you've got 12 months interest free to pay it off. People yeah. people settle the, um, with zip money once the mm. property sold. So... Yeah. There's no excuse for not presenting a property properly. It, it, you know, if I know everyone has budgets, and but you do need to present it to the best possible, yeah, exactly. in the best possible light you yep, can. For sure. Yeah, and not yep. skimp is my my advice. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's really good advice, and obviously we're going to talk a little bit more in episode two or part two, just about a couple of specifics for some of those people. So stay mm. tuned, guys. Thanks for tuning into Property Chat, and as always, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date.